Hi, I wanted to share a little bit about what I'm learning and hopefully there's value in it for you too. It's about relationship. It's about intimate relationship and intimacy. And men and women and their responses to intimacy. So, raise your hand if you're a woman and you tend to run away from really deep intimate relationship as it's getting there. Let's say you're in a new relationship, it's starting to deepen and you're feeling good and it's like, wow, this guy might be a really good match. And then up comes the run away pattern, right? It's like, oh, it's getting too close. It's getting a little scary. Gotta run away. And if you're a guy, maybe you're like, I'm really digging this connection with this woman. It's feeling really good. And what is this distance? Every now and then I feel her distancing and like, what is that about? <laughs> and you're wondering, where is she going, right? So I'm learning a lot about this in my relationship with Lloyd and we're having a wonderful time understanding the energy dynamics of coming together and moving apart and coming together and moving apart. And what we're finding is the more we're coming together, the less I am engaging my runaway pattern. Why is that? Well, we're wanting to make this universal so that there's usefulness in it for you too. Some men know about this and some men don't, so I want to address it. Men, when you, how can I put this? When you bring your masculine energy and you are solid in yourself and you are on your mission and you are focused on your purpose, your woman is going to feel safer. If she feels you wobbling, lost, insecure, not knowing who you are, not knowing what you're about, not knowing what you stand for, she is going to feel um, like she has to wear the masculine energy and control the situation and make sure everything is handled. And this is a very big thing for men and women. It's not, I'm not saying men that you can't feel insecure sometimes or you know, you're know you mid-shift and you're not sure where you're going. It's not that you can't explore that and feel those things. It's how you navigate through it. So as an example, Lloyd went through something last week and you know he was just really reassessing things and sharing with me about his process. And he was more emotionally available when he was doing that. And the very next thing he did is he let me know. He's like, if I sound scared, if I sound lost, or if I sound confused, what I want you to know is I'm rock solid and I'm right here and I'm not going anywhere. That's really important for women to hear from their men. Because you guys, you're bringing the thunder left and right in your world and you have to process. You just process differently than how women do. So if you're going to go through a vulnerable time and you're gonna share that with your woman, make sure you piggyback that with assuring her that you've got this as well. Even if you don't quite believe it, make sure she believes it <laughs> and you'll find your way into that power. For women, why do you run away? Why do I run away? Uh, for most of us, we get scared because relationships haven't worked out in the past. We're starting to get very vulnerable. We don't know if our heart is safe. We want to make sure that we're going to be okay no matter what happens in the relationship. And we tend to hold back a little bit so that there's this one foot out the door kind of thing going on. And in that way, we don't fully surrender into our feminine. We don't become vulnerable. And for women, vulnerability is also invincibility, believe it or not. The deeper we go with our own hearts, the more we trust our intuitive sense of things and our emotional sense of things the more vital and congruent we are with ourselves. And when we're congruent with ourselves, we're safe. And most women are looking for the feeling of safety. So for the women, I want to invite you to get really vulnerable and really surrender into your feminine more. And uh, when you're with your man, really see him as the you know, empowered God that he is and, and bring your goddess nature to him and let him swim in the feminine with you. There is so much to be said for uh, women softening and men stepping forward more and bringing that masculine penetrating energy. So women, when you open and you soften and you have a place for your man to land, that brings out in him like the, the hunter-gatherer guy, you know, who just wants to take care of you. And men love to make their women happy. And I don't mean in a codependent way. I mean men love to feel successful that they're doing a good job, that they're providing for you emotionally, mentally, psychologically, for some men financially. 
and they feel empowered when they get the pat on the back from you. So I hope this little snapshot about intimate relationship uh, has some value for you. I know that Lloyd and I are having a wonderful time deepening in our relationship and we're pretty much ideating about starting to open our lives and share with you more the things we're learning as we deepen. So um, feel free to give me feedback and let me know if this video is uh, helping you in your relationship today. And uh, then there's the rest of the newsletter. So thanks for tuning in.